What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Evan and I make videos about hot stocks, dividends, and options. So if that interests you guys, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss when I upload. So if you guys have been paying any attention to NEO today, you know they're actually up quite a bit. They're up 12% today and they've actually hit a new all-time high. Now this all-time high comes on a few pieces of good news that came out for NEO. So we're going to go over exactly what those things are and whether NEO is still a buy in this $31 area and possibly up to $32. But like I said, NEO is up over 12% today. But if we actually look at the one week chart, they're up 13% on the week and you can see they're pretty flat and they had a couple days where they spiked. But I actually want to compare them to the overall market because when NEO actually drops, Investors like to compare them to the overall market and say that they only drop because the market drops. But I kind of want to show you that that's not always the case. So if you look at the chart for the one week on NEO, and now if we compare that to the one week on SPY, which watches the overall market, you can see SPY is down 4.7%, which is almost 5% on the week. And in the last few days, SPY has been trading pretty flat. Now on the one day chart, it says that SPY is up 0.87%. But this is just because they ended so low yesterday and so technically they are up from where they closed yesterday. But again on the one week chart you can see in the past few days they've been pretty flat. But then if we go back to NEO you can see they've been up pretty much all week. It's been a slow upwards trend and then especially today they spiked up a huge amount. And it looks like NEO isn't going to slow down anytime today because most days NEO actually starts low and then they end the day higher than they opened. Now they could pull back or level out throughout the rest of the day. There's still a couple hours left in the trading day. But it looks like from this trend that they've created, it shows that they shouldn't slow down at least through the end of today. Now towards the end of the video, I'll throw up an update for the current price while I'm editing this video. But I think they're going to continue rising at least through the end of the trading day. We may even see NEO hit over $31 today. So now you might be wondering why NEO is actually trading higher today. And there's a few reasons. The first reason is that NEO actually hit their 5,000th delivery in a single month. So this hasn't actually been done by NEO before. If you know back in September, their deliveries for September was 4,708. And so at this point in time in October, they actually announced that they hit 5,000 deliveries in one month. And there's actually still a few days left in October. So at the current rate that they're producing vehicles in October, within the next few days, by the end of October, they could hit 5,500 vehicle deliveries. And that would be huge because that would be 800 more deliveries than the previous month. And if they continue growing at this pace, this is going to be huge for NEO. Now we won't know for sure until around mid-November. That's when they'll probably release the official monthly deliveries for October. But it's definitely a time to look out for because I think their share price could jump up quite a bit more once the official numbers come out for deliveries in October. Now NEO doesn't yet have a factory of their own. I think they're working on creating factories so they can produce vehicles themselves. But right now their vehicles are produced by JAC Motors. So they outsource everything. Now this isn't a bad thing because a lot of companies do this. But they're actually taking advantage of this partnership with JAC. And the goal is to increase their production numbers to 12,500 per month by early 2021. And I think this could be accomplished, maybe not super easily, but with the release of their new vehicle that they're officially announcing on NEO Day, I think that will definitely help out with deliveries. Now I don't know when this new vehicle will be delivered or will be available for purchase, but that's definitely something that will help and a new catalyst that will help drive both the share price of NEO up as well as help with delivery numbers, therefore increasing the share price. So it's kind of this endless cycle where NEO releases a new vehicle, they get better delivery numbers, and then we see the share price increase and that just keeps happening over and over. I mean we saw the same thing with their newest EC6 vehicle that was just released and they reported deliveries back in August. And so I'm kind of wondering how many vehicles of this EC6 they delivered in September because they had their first deliveries just in August. But again they broke their record for September which was 4,708 vehicles. And now they're up to over 5,000 and they could possibly hit 5,500 by the end of October. And again, definitely keep an eye out for mid-November when NEO is going to be releasing third quarter results. Now they've already released deliveries for third quarter, 
but this is going to be all the analytics and everything. And this is when we're going to see NEO share price probably jump up quite a bit, especially because we're already seeing strong numbers and increasing numbers each month. Now I wanna transition over to the other reason why NEO is actually up quite a bit today and why they actually crossed over the $30 mark. And this is because there was actually another price prediction put out by Morgan Stanley and they actually increased their price target from $20.50 up to $33. And the analyst who upgraded this price target based his upgrade on better than expected quarter three deliveries. And so he's kind of delayed on this price forecast, but also on margin upside potential and an update of our assumptions behind NEO's vehicle and long-term take rate of NOP. So both this price upgrade as well as the 5,000 deliveries, both of which came out today, Obviously, we're going to see an increase in NEO's share price. Now, I don't think anybody really expected a 12% jump because remember just recently, in the last couple weeks, we had JP Morgan increase their price target up to $40. And this was set by June, 2021. Now, I don't see a time for when this price target is going to be set for, this $33 price target from Morgan Stanley, but I would assume it's in the next 12 months. And pretty soon these big banks and analysts that are putting out these price targets are going to have to increase them more because NEO continually increases in price and it keeps breaking these records. Now I wouldn't even be surprised, possibly in the next couple days, NEO could even jump up above this $33 price target. You really never know with NEO's share price, but we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. But now the question remains of whether NEO is a buy above this $30 mark and into possibly $32. I think with all this news coming out for NEO and all the potential that NEO has, I think as an investor in NEO, you should be long-term on NEO. And I think any time is a good time to add shares of NEO. Maybe not specifically at this share price when they bump up and hit a new high, because most of the times we've seen NEO hit a new all-time high and then they pull back for a few days before they continue upwards or possibly a few weeks. So I wouldn't be surprised if Neo pulls back a dollar or two, maybe even more, possibly back to that $27 support line. But I don't think you can go wrong, especially if you're long-term on Neo. Now, maybe if you're not as long-term as some other investors, maybe you're just planning on holding Neo for six to 12 months, a couple dollars could make a big difference in your average share price. So it might be smarter to wait till Neo pulls back a little bit, but long term, I think NEO is worth well beyond this $30 mark, possibly in the next year. I mean, I think I'm not the only one that's predicting NEO to be above 50 and maybe even into $100 in the next 12 months. I think that's very viable for NEO going forward. But there's just so many things going for NEO, so many catalysts driving the share price of NEO upwards. I mean, just take, for example, their 150,000 units that they want to deliver in 2021. And soon after, they want to double that to 300,000 units per year, which would be equivalent to 25,000 deliveries per month. And then you also consider all these unique aspects that NEO has, like their battery as a service, their battery swap technology, and then also their mobile eye for their navigate on pilot, which is like level four self-driving. And pretty soon, with a partnership with Intel, they're going to have robo-taxis. Now, I don't remember exactly when they want to incorporate these robo-taxis, but just look at how many things there are going for NEO and how much bullish news there is coming out for NEO almost daily. It's like almost every day we see something positive come out for NEO. So if you have yet to invest in NEO, but you want to jump in, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I think you should buy in sooner than later. Now, I'm not a financial advisor, but that's what I would do, especially if you believe in NEO long term. People are going to continue buying out of the fear of missing out. But if you get in early and you can secure a nice amount of shares, you can just hold those long term. And if you're at all worried that you're buying at a bad share price for NEO, just dollar cost average in. If you don't know what this is, you're basically setting aside a certain amount of money every week or every month. And then you buy as many shares as you can with that set amount of money. So you might buy NEO at $31 and then next week it drops down to $27 and then you buy more shares at 27. Now you're going to get more shares at $27 if you invest the same amount of money, but that's kind of the nice thing about dollar cost averaging because you're getting the average price of a stock. Now also, if you buy in at a high share price, like say you buy in at $31, now right now it just hit over $31, you guys saw it here, but if you buy in at $31, 
you could buy a put and kind of hedge against your position. So there's always ways to make money or to kind of insure your money because buying a put would sort of be like insurance against your normal shares. Now, if you guys don't know how that works, you can look into that and how you can hedge against your position. But again, NEO is more of a long-term play. I don't think you should be playing NEO short-term. They have all these future projections and things going for them in the future that hasn't really been incorporated yet. So it is more of a long-term play, even though NEO is spiking up all the time. I don't think buying in at any time is a bad price. Now, sure, you could wait for them to pull back a couple dollars to load up more, and they likely will pull back a couple dollars because most of the time when they hit a high, they kind of taper back down a little bit. But I just wouldn't wait too long to invest in NEO if you're planning on it. And for those of you who are invested in NEO, are you still buying even at this $31 area? Or are you kind of waiting for them to pull back? Let me know down in the comments. Also, if you guys haven't signed up for Weeble, make sure you sign up, fund your account $100, and you'll get, I believe it's three stocks now, all worth at least $8. So you're guaranteed $24 and possibly a lot more. So make sure you guys sign up and get your free stocks before this promotion ends. Also, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like because it really does help out the channel. And with that said, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you back here in the next one. Bye.